I was part of uh, Batch 26 and um, I finished around 2016, early 2016 and the EPAD has actually been a really interesting journey for me because I came actually from a corporate finance and accounting undergraduate from the University of Pretoria and then I decided that I wanted to, to move into quantitative finance because I just saw that, that's, that's kind of where all the focus was going. It was a big hype around high frequency trading and, and algorithmic trading and, and it was very clear to me that you know discretionary traders was going to be a thing of the past one day and, and so I, I started trying to to get all of my faculties in place so that I can you know make kind of this career switch which is quite a big career switch um, and, and very difficult because if you come from an accounting background you don't do a lot of calculus or machine learning or anything like that and and so I started with the EPAD program. Um, you know, my, my first job at a university, I, I worked kind of uh, kind of as like a, a mix between the operations of running, you know, a portfolio that I had developed with a friend of mine at a fund and, um, you know, kind of coding, but it was all in Excel and VBA. And I really needed to make the transition. And, and so what I did is, you know, I, I joined part of the EPAD and, and I learned a lot of interesting things. And I'm, I'm looking over the curriculum that you guys are doing now. And I'm so proud and, and so excited to see that the EPAD has come so very far in terms of the speakers they've got and the new course material. I, I, I really think this is a special thing. And um, I've actually done a lot of extra courses on machine learning, machine learning and finance. You know, there's one on, on Coursera uh, from NYU for machine learning in finance specifically. I'm busy finishing up the masters in uh, uh, financial engineering from World Quant, uh, which you guys can check out as well. It's quite fun. But I have to say that out of all the courses I've done and everything I've searched for, never have I found something that was so as focused just on algorithmic trading as the EPAT. Um, you know, I've looked at modules from Carnegie Mellon, uh, NYU, Cornell. I, I've really searched, and I just I just haven't found a course that provided as many modules with as much depth. Um, and at the time, I'm not sure if you guys still do it now, but when I was doing it, you know, we, we sat with a mentor and, and we built a strategy from first principles all the way from beginning to the end. And it was just it was such an experience. And actually, when I had finished the, the EPAT program, I managed to get a job at, at one of the best hedge funds here in South Africa for machine learning and finance. And that was just so exciting to me that, you know, with the EPAT, I was able to make the shift from a finance and accounting background into machine learning. And, and that, that's kind of where where you know my journey led. Um, at the moment, I'm, I'm working as a data scientist at Prelexus, which is also financial machine learning. But the skills that you learn here will will stand you in good stead for no matter where you want to go. If you if you want to go into predictive analytics, if you you know any firm that that has kind of like a quant background, you'll be a great a great fit for. And the one thing I really want to kind of impress upon the students is that now that you've finished this course. I really want to encourage you to make use of the alumni network to not only make friends, but also make use of the additional courses that Quant Institute offers. Because the truth is, is that if you do come from an accounting background or you made a transition and you haven't done subjects like calculus, linear algebra, uh, stochastic processes, you know, if, if you haven't been, if you haven't had enough exposure to machine learning, these are all things that you still need to grow in your career. You still need to learn all of these principles and, and you really just, you just need to carry on learning and I want to encourage that. Um, anything else on this side? Um, no, that, that that's about it. Sorry, yeah, I just wanted to, exp to talk a little bit about my experience from you know making this wild transition from an accounting background into machine learning and finance background, and, and it's all because of the EPAT. Um, I'm I'm really so proud of the program. I'm really glad I did it, and, and I'm sure all of you are so glad that you did it. Um, and I hope to see more of you guys speaking in more of the commencement speeches going forward and, and seeing you guys grow in your careers and networking. I really hope that you guys re reach out and and make use of the networking opportunities that you have here with the Quantity. Thank you very much.